intuition to me is, um, I call it direct knowing. It is, you know, really working with the right brain and the body and getting direct immersion into knowing. And now I'm calling it energy information, too, because it's a sensitivity and we're all becoming very ultra sensitive. So there's kind of a new skill now of learning how to interpret energy information directly through the body. That's kind of a, a new use of intuition, I suppose. Um, and I think the intuition age is, you know, I have to back up because I think we went through the industrial age, you know, and that was very much about the body, physical stuff, mechanical processes. It was slow, cause and effect, you know, mechanical in very many ways. And that kind of speed it up with the the um, computer coming in, you know, and then that kind of launched the information age where we went into the mind. So it went from body to mind, and now that's speeding up so much because of the internet that now we're about to launch into the next level. So I'm calling that intuition age, which is very much based on spirit, but really it's where we start to see ourselves as energy and consciousness-based things, mm -hmm. not physical forms separate from each other in time and space. So it, it's a whole new reality construct that's coming in now. Mm -hmm. It's much more based on holograms and and fractals and all those things, you know. So, And it's going to really change the way reality works. And we just almost, from within the viewpoint of the old intuition, I mean, information age, and I call it the old perception, <laughs> um, you know, you can barely imagine what it's going to be like, you know, so that's kind of what I've been trying to do with frequency. And now I'm writing another book that'll take it even further. So I'm halfway through that. Right. Right What's now. the subject of that book? <laughs> yeah, it'll be really on this whole new perception, yeah. like what it's going to be and how to get into it and what, how to work it and what it's, how it's going to affect us. Yeah. Cause I was yeah. wondering when you wrote the book in 2009 and you were saying it was just starting and uh in my experience you know there's there's so much more information now about you know like lynn mctaggart wrote the book the bond you know about the space in mm -hmm. between and you know there's just it's not prevalent but i mean there's definitely more people speaking about having a multi-dimensional sense of each other yes and i think that's part of the acceleration you know that is happening and it's been happening it's not like it's just new right yeah. now it's been happening for a long time but, but there's a kind of a real speedy critical mass point that's that's being reached i think i'm not sure that it's this year exactly but i think this year is really important 2012 is important as a kind of a freedom year for opening up a lot of flow and breaking through things, stuck places.